Up, imagine converting an old bread delivery van that didn't even run from a gas to an electric engine. That's what a group of Rice University students did, and check out how it is running. Jeremy and Chow got a lesson on an engineering ultimate class project. This 1997 Chevy P30 delivery van was gathering dust at the university housing and dining department until some 30 Rice University students got their hands on it, including Andrew Linhart. It had become completely non-functional, so it was just sitting out in the parking lot. We gutted the whole system and converted it into an electric vehicle. The original vehicle didn't even have AC, so I'm That's just glad. one of the many upgrades the students put in over the last two semesters. The restoration and conversion was their capstone design project. That's a requirement for engineering majors. Check out these before and after pictures of the custom dashboard. It shows everything, you know, what, what speed you're going at, the total charge and everything like that. Team captain Austin Greer explains they salvaged parts from all over. This GM truck with a uh, motor from Omni and batteries out of a Tesla and making that all function together, that was the hardest part. The students tricked those parts by mimicking different electrical signatures to make those parts electrically think that they were in the vehicle that they came out of. There we go. So the AC system. We have our evaporator, um, the compressor is back there. The backup camera, the drive shaft the batteries, and more all work together. Then came the test drives from freeways to a parking lot obstacle course, and other twists and turns like... Researching a lot of regulations and laws, you know, about what constitutes a road legal vehicle, all sorts of, that was, that was my specialty as you know, the you know, future attorney. The total tab, $53,000 paid for by a university grant. It's a great learning experience. So the value gain there um, is invaluable. Plus, housing and dining now has a custom e-van in its fleet. It's now in use. You might see it driving around rice the next time you're over here. <laughs> um, Sherman Chow, KHOU, 11 News.